Some of you might remember this piece that I started playing with in a recent live stream. And it's just some patchwork pieces of fabric that I had pieced together and then hit with some paint. And for the first layer, I just grabbed some green fibers and tossed them down willy nilly and started stitching them into place. And I just kind of wanted to break up that initial blank page, so to speak, so I could start thinking about where it was gonna go. And after that, it just kind of hung in the studio. I couldn't decide what I was gonna do next. Uh, so I started thinking about more couching. I mean, if I don't know what to do, it's time to add another layer. So I grabbed some really colorful fibers and just kind of plopped them down to see what I thought. And I thought, you know, it kind of looks like flowers. We had talked about it being maybe a flower garden. So my idea was to couch down not just one layer of the green or another layer of this multicolor, but to keep piling on different colored fibers until I got just this really multi-layered field of flowers and then I could decide what I was going to do next. Now I have to tell you my husband thought I was a little crazy for trying this idea. He couldn't see the flowers but then he's got a tech brain and not an art brain so that's okay. I really think by the time I got to the end of this I was starting to achieve what I wanted to do. And here's the thing about couching. You can't do it wrong. I mean you know me I'm not usually trying to create something that looks exactly like a picture so I'm just trying to give you that illusion make you uh, think about flowers without them actually looking like flowers and couching is great for that this is also a wonderful way to use up any of those scrap pieces of fiber either you have left after a project or maybe you buy a, a bag of fibers at the thrift store and you get all these different varieties in short lengths just pull them out and throw them down on a piece of fabric and start stitching them down and see what you have. Maybe you wanna go in one colorway. Um, that's another thing I had thought about doing was taking nothing but green fibers and piling them up and then adding beads. The way I'm thinking right now is after I get all these different fibers couched down, I'm gonna let it hang in the studio again, but then I'm thinking French knots, just random French knots in all different sizes all over the place. In the end, I ended up using, I think, four different fibers in addition to the first level of green. And I'm pretty pleased. I didn't tack down every corner, but I know when I turn it upside down, nothing's falling off. So it's good enough that I can start to think about the French knots. This is going to be a wall hanging, and it's about 13 inches wide and about 14 inches long. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. It is outside of my normal zone of colors and that's good for me it's good to stretch I could call it a doodle cloth but really I am picturing a field of flowers I even have a title kind of playing around in the back of my brain so let me know what you think about this idea and if it looks like a field of flowers to you at the end and if you've given something like this a try I mean what have you got to lose the worst thing that happens is you end up with a new piece of material and you can cut it apart and do something else with it and hey, if you don't want to do all this stuff by hand, grab your sewing machine. You can absolutely go all over this with a sewing machine. I just tend to prefer to stitch by hand.